Hi guys, welcome to our new video on the centrifugal pump curve. So basically, uh, today we will be discussing uh, about how to read uh, the centrifugal pump curve. There are a lot of factors uh, will be C, like uh, flow versus head curves, then power requirement, then at particular flow, what will be the NPCH requirement. So definitely we will look in very detail. So before uh, I start the video or I start the discussion, I request you guys to uh, please subscribe the channel. And uh, if you have any queries, then you can just email me on this process engineering 0605 at the gmail.com. I will try to resolve your query as soon as possible. Thank you. So let's start the discussion. So uh, guys, you can see, uh, I have taken one example uh, where the operating conditions are mentioned. So this is my requirement, which I told to the pump vendor. Like uh, I want the capacity of one double nine six m cube per hour, and my total differential head is one zero six point four three meter. Based on that, uh, the vendor has provided me this curve. So we will discuss the, this curve in detail. Like you can see, there are four types of pump curve. I will show you. The first one is flow versus head. On the X axis, you can see the capacity. This is nothing but the flow rate of the pump in M cube per hour. And in the Y axis, we have a head, right? So these three curves, one, two, and three these th three curves are the flow versus head right this is the first type and the second type is flow versus npshr so what is npshr npshr is nothing but the net positive suction head okay so you can see this curve npshr so this curve is flow on the x on the y x sorry on the x axis there is flow and on the y axis we have the NPSH required. It is mentioned in like 5, 10, right? Okay, so this is the second one. The third one is flow versus efficiency, right? So you can see this one. This curve is mainly flow versus efficiency. And you can see on the Y axis, we have mentioned the efficiency. So you can just see. Like at this point, like maybe 82 percent, right? Like that. And the last one is flow versus power. At particular flow rate, what would be the power requirement, or what would be the power consumed by that pump? Uh, you can see here. So this is mainly the flow rate on the x-axis we have flow rate, and on the y-axis we have the kilowatt rating, right? So these are basically the uh, four types of pump curve. So just uh, let's discuss one by one. So our requirement is likely, uh, as we said earlier, one double nine six m cube per hour. So it will come very near to this point. Just go above, and our head requirement is one zero six point three something. So here is the intersection point like this is near 2000 so this one and head from the sorry from here you can see just about the 100 like this would be our operating point at that point we will get the pump will deliver 1996 m cube per hour and 106.3 differential head so this is the operating point okay this is one point and what what is this so we have why we have a three uh, flow versus head curve so the first one is the the maximum curve we can see at the impeller diameter of 610 this is the maximum impeller diameter where the pump can deliver like on uh, on the same flow rate pump can deliver up to maybe 120 121 meter head so this is the maximum limit of the uh, pump uh, 
or we can say that this is the maximum impeller diameter core uh, this is our rated it means at our requirement uh, vendor is providing the impeller diameter of 577 where uh, the pump is uh, meeting our requirement and this is the last one the below one is the minimum uh, impeller diameter the pump can uh, that can be fit into that pump so uh, the pump so if in future uh, you want to increase the flow or decrease the flow based on that you can change the impeller and this curve will move like this like in this direction or in this direction okay fine so uh, that was the first one flow versus side then the second one flow versus npshr right so <clears throat> as you know our flow requirement is uh, 196 mq per hour just go above and see uh, go on the <clears throat> horizontal towards right here we can see it's almost about 6 right 6 5.86 I will show you the exact number as well. Like here, you can see the pump vendor has given NPS required by 6.2, right? So uh, <clears throat> that is the curve, and the vendor also provided on the uh, tabulated format as well. So whatever we are finding, that is correct, right? On the required floor, NPS requirements is around 6, 6.2, right? So from here, from this curve, you will get the NPS requirement. Likely, as you can see, as flow rate increasing and passage requirement is increasing like uh, at 2500 mq per hour you can see and passage requirement is uh, around 11 meter and as uh, flow rate is decreasing and passage requirement is decreasing right but okay so that what about uh, the end flow versus and passage requirement then third one is a flow versus efficiency okay at rated flow our rated flow is 19960 you can just go vertically upward up to this efficiency curve so this is our efficiency curve this will be our intersection point and just drag one line toward uh, horizontal line towards right and you can see our efficiency at that point is around i would say 82 percent no sorry eight not 82 but 84 85 percent right let's reconfirm the number yeah, it's 87 so more or less 87 percent at this point you can just go horizontal from here you can get the details right then on <coughs> So this this is the, about the flow versus efficiency core if suppose our flow is 1500 mq per hour then our efficiency uh, from the curve we can see it is dropping like it will be around 82 percent right suppose our flow is 1000 mq per hour then our efficiency is around like 76 yeah 76 75 percent so this is our efficiency curve okay and at the zero flow we have zero efficiency right because we are not delivering any flow rate and i forgot to mention one more point uh, on the flow versus head curve on the on the y axis at this point this is our operating curve or rated curve on this point this will be our shut off head okay it means that when the pump discharge wall is completely closed the maximum differential head the pump can deliver is up to like 130 yeah 120 at 130 meter the head differential head pump candle so this is our shut off head this is our uh, operating point or rated head you can say and at the end uh, this is end of the curve we can say so end of the curve head this might be 85 86 right so that what about the shut off head and shut off head helps us uh, to define the design pressure of the downstream piping of the pump then the last one is 
flow versus power okay so you can see uh, if you go upward from this 1996 mq per hour just go above here and you can see at this point we are intersecting to this power curve flow versus power curve so our current power requirement is around if you go 660 something six okay 660 let's reconfirm the number what vendor says yeah rated power is 661 kilowatt like okay and what is the maximum power it means suppose pump running at the end of the curve like here this is our selected uh you can say selected impeller if you just go from end of the curve to the vertically upward this will be our the maximum uh power required by the pump if the pump running at the end of the curve so this would be our maximum power requirement then the driver power and then the vendor just uh suggesting us to select the next rated uh motor kw which is 800 okay and he has given in also information about the impeller diameter like rated diameter is 577 the maximum is 610 as we discuss and the minimum is 488 mm we cannot uh, install the impeller size beyond the 610 mm and we cannot go below this so yeah so this is all about the pump core i hope you guys uh, understood it well and got the idea about it if you have any question just uh, do email me i will try to resolve it as soon as possible okay and just one request please like comment and share this video with your colleagues and friends and also please subscribe and the channel for the new videos thank you guys